Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. We got Jameson, 18-year Irish whiskey. Ooh, we're gonna ho 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 test it! Let's test it. All right, Scott. Christmas Eve, yeah. technically. Festive, happy Festivus. Boom. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah, Merry I got the Christmas. Hat. Happy holidays. This is another manga shirt, but it's got a Christmas color feel. Yeah. The blue. So is your hat. Bam. The hat. The blue. The red. Green. It's like a tree. It's like a tree. Yes. By the way, coin 59. Now this is Jameson's 18 fancier box. I haven't even pulled up my notes for this, and I should have. This is courtesy of a fan, actually. Do Are we allowed to say his name? I don't know. Let's just say Let's Sal. Let's just say Sal. Sal. Sal Cousin purchased. Sal. Actually, Sal, when we got our 200th episode, Sal made a donation. He did. And he said, hey, you guys are doing good. Well, he, it he might have been he great. He didn't think we'd make it to 50. That's what he said. Yeah. But you but guys we made would it run to out. 200. 200 and we're almost what are we at well that's uh, this is probably 250 or yeah so. i gotta remember i can't even remember um, where we're at but sal uh we made it sal. made a don donation he said pick you guys up a bottle he said you don't even have to review it just get a bottle for you guys yeah. to enjoy but we love reviewing yep. that's part of what we do so we looked at something and thought you know what Jameson. That's to get something a little different. We love, if you haven't, go back into the archives. Hello, the archives are hot. A lot of people watching. We got the Jameson's Black bottle. Delicious. Cask Mates might have been the first one we did. Was that the very first one we did? Uh, it's hard to tell. No, we, well, no, Irish, we did one before. Well, we had done uh, some first we, Jameson. First, first Jameson, Jameson, yeah. Well, we did Cask Mates. Cask Mates was wildly the first successful. Have we done our, I think we've and done a regular, have we done just regular Jameson? No. Really? So we're coming at it backwards, folks. Backwards. Um, actually, and I was a little off on our numbers even, this should be about episode, um, because we're doing live streams and we're not sure when we're going to have them or not, roughly Throws this will be number. 257, 258 maybe. Wow. That's so impressive. Before you know it, we'll be at 300. The big three, baby. So Jameson, 18 year, limited reserve. I'm sure this is triple distilled. Oh yeah. Um, yep, it is triple distilled. Of course. Um, it says a rare whiskey matured in hand-picked oak casks for at least 18 years. I love the hand picking. The Master Blender's special selection of very old Jameson Irish whiskey. Very old, not just old, very. Bottled at 40% ABV. Wish it was a little higher. Yes. That was my only deal. Wish it was a little higher. Um, I'm not as up on Jameson's. If they, they have like Ardbeg with their committee releases where they have things that are, you know, limited that are popped up. Do you know? If you know, put it in the comments. Well, we just did uh, Cooper's Crows. Yeah, we did it's that. Kind of that is true. That was, a, that was a whole, that was Whiskey like a triple maker set. Series. Yeah, it was a triple set. Well, we only had the one, Cooper's Crows. But Help us out, Jameson's. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Actually, no, I did see even a limited Jameson. I hadn't seen it before, and it was like a $300 bottle. Ooh. It was in a even, that was a box similar to this one about. Wow. Um, so. Oh, um, well, you I can, know they got you, stuff. You should pick that one up. Oh, I should. I shall. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. You know what? I tasted this one. I made my notes way back in July. So we're almost, it was late July, yep. like July 30th. Yep. Yeah, we sat down. That's when I took my notes. So we, I think the fact is we sat over here and, and popped it open. Enjoyed it together. Because Sal, Sal had said, get a bottle for you guys to enjoy. Better call Sal. And then I'll take this home with me and enjoy it. Yeah, you, you cuddled it. You cradled it. A great citrus. You had like a football carry, if I remember. Really? Right there on the, on the nose. Hmm. Wow. I get caramel apple right up the apple. front. That was a Jolly, Jolly Rancher apple. Hmm. Creamy and oak, vanilla and citrus. Wow, I get a spearmint. Spearmint, spearmint with caramel. Hmm. Isn't that something? Huh. Hmm. Wow, well, I usually don't even think of those two together. Caramel, yeah. Car or yeah, caramel spearmint or a spearmint caramel. 
it's a it's a, it really is a great nose um full those those notes just jump right out at you um not terribly complex though on the nose that's really about it as far as i get oakiness wow. creaminess vanilla citrus and sorry it was spearmint caramel on the nose the uh the caramel apples is in the flavor and it's still mm. in the flavor mm. i glanced down at my notes there um very very caramel appleish um velvety smooth a slight slight not strong astringence but boy is it smooth it's like silk just a hint of an aftertaste kind of butterscotchery but boy does that caramel apple start off and again all i can say is smooth smooth i've got velvet in my notes now this i've got smooth yeah um now i think this has opened up a little bit from time um I'm, and i'm getting that irish sherry note okay uh kind of the, that rose hips and and uh hibiscus back on the hips say. yeah um, floral kind of a sherry. I don't know what it is with Irish whiskeys and the sherry caskings. It, it, huh. it puts a diff different twang on it. See, I don't get any sherry. Just a just a hint. Huh. Um, and I didn't get it when we sat down with it. I did get it just now. I listed my further notes that it is a uh, it's a lot subtler on my palate than I thought it would be. I would agree with you. It seems like it's opened up a bit since when I first tried it. It's very smooth. I think the age parlays a little bit into that. Oh, definitely. Um, and I don't know if you can find a more smooth, mellow, full-bodied whiskey, but not but not complex. I mean, it's just. A well-aged, smooth whiskey on the palate, 40%. I haven't even added a drop of water yet. You could you could probably sit down and then drink this whole bottle in a night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's that <laughs> smooth. Yeah. Um, I think that is, well, it, not complex is right on. I don't... I don't know if I would call it full bodied. Full bodied usually gives me a lot more of just maybe my taste is earthiness. I do agree with you though. It is a beautifully smooth 18 year dram. It's very subtle to me though. Very subtle. It's, it, um, yeah, and, I, and by not complex, I mean it's, it, it's simple in, in its flavor, in, mm -hmm. its, in its palate. Um, the usual notes are there, you know, the, the caramel, the vanilla, the slight oakiness, the slight sherry notes. Okay, it's, I just got a hint of a sherry note. I see what mm -hmm. you're saying. Mm -hmm. To me, it's almost too subtle. Honey. I just got a honey. A little honeycomb. It is, well, it's, it's, it's smooth. I would agree there's, there's just a smoothness to it. The big thing on here, I think, and I know we're not there yet, so I'll wait for the is it worth it statement. Eighty-seven. Hmm. I know. It's just not bringing as much as I thought was going to come. You've got ninety-one. Smooth. Great nose. Love that caramel, love that spearmint. That first taste of caramel apples, I enjoy, I like. But to me, it's just too subtle. Um, like I said, I still think it's full. I think it's full body. It's just not complex. The palate is full. It saturates your palate with those notes which i think is the 18 years i think the aging has really but yeah 
46 percent this would be outstanding i'm with you i just got another little sherry note there i'm glad you pointed that out because it's nowhere in my notes well, I say, the, the first night when we opened up the bottle and sat down with it, I didn't I didn't have that in there. But the first sip that I took today, yeah. I got it. I definitely get the apple still. Um, higher ABV, baby. I think that's what's missing here for me. If it was even 43, I think. It just feels like it's coming in a little bit watered down. Um, where does it even verify ABV on here? Oh, way over here. Subtle. It's even subtle, subtle it on the ABV. I know. 46, I think, would have been perfect. My goodness. If they get, did a cast strength of this, I might fall oh, in love with that. Right? But I know that would be a little crazy. But it seems low to me. Yeah. Okay. Is it worth it? And I think this is $120. Not for me. I would not buy this. Uh, I mean, I, I'm glad I've tried it. It's tasty. It's got cool things going on with it. For that much, I want at least a 43% ABV. I would prefer a 46. Um, and if you give it to me at that, I got a feeling I would fall in deep, passionate love. Passionate. I think I think it's worth it. I think if you bought, if you like Irish whiskeys, mm -hmm. and you bought this, you are not going to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Now, if this was eighty or ninety dollars, I think is more realistic mm -hmm. if you can find it for that, and not bad. One twenty should be a cask strength version of this. Oh yeah, or maybe a fifty fifty five percent. I don't even think forty three percent. Let's bump that up. Well, I'm saying minimum forty three percent. I would like it at forty six. And I think if you, if Jameson's had done that, it'd be a home run hitter. Home run hitter. Same price point would, would make it worth it, I would think. But that was the one thing. Feels a touch, a touch watered down to me. I think it feels a touch well done. It is well done. <laughs> It feels well done. I just but feel 40, like 40% is out. kind of disappointing. Even, yeah. and, and, I, and I've said this, even when I'm in the store and I'm contemplating what to buy, it's like, okay, here's a bottle of something that's 40%, and here's a bottle of something that's 46 48%. I'll, I'm, I'm, even I'm tending towards the higher ABV stuff, just because I can bring that down to where I want it. And maybe I want it higher. Maybe I want it a little bit lower. Right. You can't bring this up. No. You can't That's make it strong. Bingo. You are hitting it on the head. What I love about a higher ABV, dare I say cash strength, I'm not saying this has to be, is that I can bring it down. I'll find the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. This misses the perfect sweet spot for me slightly, which is why I'm thinking a minimum 43, probably beautiful at 46. Mm -hmm. And if you had a cash strength uh, uh, option that was out there, Yes, yes. I'd even say if it was cast strength, I mean, I'd have to try it. But I'm thinking you can get it up into 150. So that's my only, only point on this is that it tastes a little watered down. Hmm. That's all I say. Like I say, I think if you like Irish whiskey, like it. it's very well done. It's very smooth. I agree. Full bodied. Agree. Um, I don't agree slight. totally with full body. Yeah, you got a different definition right. of full body. And I mean, yeah, if you talked about, Correct. there's some 18 year scotches that are have more flavor profile, more palate, more. Yeah, but but you're right on body. the Irish. I mean, yeah. the Irish brings that that velvety smoothness with it, mm -hmm. and Jameson's in particular. Yeah. So when you look at it from that, when you're when you if you're trying not if you're not comparing this to an Isla, I won't mention your two favorites. When you're not comparing, well, this I'm to not Scott, comparing when it to you're an thinking Isla. Irish whiskey, which I tend to do when I get a Canadian whiskey, I've got kind of uh, expectations of what a Canadian whiskey is. Sure. And, and then I compare those. I compare Canadians to Canadians. Well, kind maybe of. overall in the whiskey world, right. everything. Right. A little hint of it. When maybe, I yeah. when I when I when I taste an Isla or a Peaty Scotch, I've got expectations of what should be in there and what I'm looking for. To and a certain when extent. I do when I do bourbons, same thing. When I do rye, the same thing. When I do Irish whiskey, same thing. So well, the triple distil the triple distillation, you know, makes them smoother. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and I think really most Irish are coming in at forty percent. But um, outside of that, 
uh, it's, it's very well done and I think if you bought it you wouldn't be you won't be disappointed and you'd probably be a little smidgen disappointed you might be hard pressed finding a better 18 year Irish whiskey for that money well I'm going to tell you I don't think I've had an, another 18 year Irish whiskey yeah so I couldn't even tell you that I we need to pop we need to pop the Barry Crockett Middleton that's what we need to do I would never argue against opening anything up. I think opening it up is good. So is it, uh, well, we, we did it. that. Right? We're done. That's it. Wow. Scotch it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Just Hanukkah. Merry Festivus. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa's in there. Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah's Hanukkah. the whole thing. That. Did you say Hanukkah? I said that. That's, that's like 12 days of crazy mm -hmm. lights and stuff. And little gifts. All right. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.